Up next, a case around transforming technology and entertainment within the metaverse. We have Aria, a mission to solve the lack of global empathy and trust using an AI storytelling engine. Super cool. Why don't you come on up? Oh, Chet, it's all yours. I'm just kidding. Um, hello, I'm Chuck Che, CEO and director of Aria Studio Incorporate. I'll just skip through that. We're on a mission to solve the lack of global empathy and trust by using AI and interactive technology. So let's go back a little. The evolution of media has brought just more than means of communication, like the good old days of people gathering together, watching movies, and talking about things. But it wasn't just about the entertainment. It was about bringing them together, all of them, and sharing each other's thoughts, emotions, and ethical values. We are living in the hyper-connected society depicted by the metaverse. And Web 2.0 has allowed us to share more information on and contents freely, or have we? Today, the story content and media entertainment is following us, but still the linear media OTT platforms are losing the audiences, like the Netflix turning into a game company now. And why is that? So the development of such metaverse technology has provided a new way of information and connection by replacing the existing face-to-face -face and dense relationship. But there's a question whether the quality has been improved. And that's the actual metaverse that we see today. Hmm. And of course, we have smartphones. But interaction is not smart enough for being the metaverse ready and for the true Web3 entertainment, in our opinion. So this leads to a lack of empathy due to a lack of emotion and connections and relationships, the fear of new encounters and lack of me uh, mental space to accept global diversity, multiculturalism that shakes up the foundation of individuals and community as a whole. I'm sorry I'm mentioning a lot of problems because you are taking in more information, but you are spitting out more information. The more most valuable thoughts are coming out from you and can our media contents bear all of it? Today, we look for many ways to allow this human to computer communications by using agents like virtual humans. We were heavily inspired by Microsoft Milo project back in 2006. So Aria is putting people inside the movie without having them ruining it. And we found a way. What if you could talk to the movies and affect the characters' morals and decision making that affects the entire story plot? Remember the Fight Club when Tyler Durden talks to you and you probably want to talk back to him? That kind of moment. And what if you could continue your way of communicating to the world through uh, your virtual friends and that helps you to define who you are? And no, we're not talking about chatbot here, um, but as a story living character itself. We're talking about the character that remembers you and, and helps you connect virtually as your mirror to the world. In non-face-to-face -face communication and content as a medium, we believe that a dialogue-based interactive AI curation using GPT-3 and a test-based learning to remember specific scenarios, user name, and even their memories to communicate emotionally and morally with individuals and relationships is possible. And it is expected to be the major technology that connects global communities closely. We can make a single character expand into limitless content of creation. This is the power of our AI interactive production technology. It does not use joysticks, game pads, or shooting guns. It's not about choosing yes or no. Um, it's about natural language to communicate verbally using your minds so you could have a smarter interactions with the content. Story Engine is what we call the tool to help. Uh, we're mixing state-of-the-art technology such as the GPT-3 that can make generative dialogues and animations uh, uh, to the virtual characters that could understand your intentions and prompts. It will build individual in invisible boundaries and hurdles to stay on point and stay safe. You and I are existing in here, and your story time, your real-time interaction could be the process to prove your existence in the virtual world. This can be done while you're not just blinded by fancy visuals. We're also inspired by universal character model by ETC. An artist creates, audience enjoys, and they share the experiences. And this is a participation a data, uh, data uh, that is very valuable for generative narrative-driven uh, story content of virtual human we're creating. 
So with our AI interactive technology, we could have characters like Buddy here that remembers your name. And we were, we were also the production power behind LG's AI virtual human that was showcased last year at CES. And we're going further this time by utilizing GPT-3 to make the virtual human smart enough to understand your emotions and intents. And in our virtual movie experience, you can be a hero in a movie at the comfort of your couch and using your TV set-top box and mobile devices. Running out of time. And we're expanding to our storytelling methods to every method, and we're very uh, agnostic in, in media formats. And that was us, Aria. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chuck. So, Thank you. yeah, um, just fantastic to see yeah. it in action there. Yeah. Um, you mentioned morals and having it be adaptive to many different environments and ways to tell stories without defining entertainment. Mm -hmm. Maybe what opportunities do you feel are there for real time, sort of curated, moderated storytelling? Are there any specific examples or opportunities that you see? Well, the first is advertising, but in, in the right way. So you're not stick your things in front of the audience or user's face, but you can actually talk to them without tracking their data like stalkers. But you can actually actually do a face-to-face -face conversation through our virtual agents and able to understand their intentions and morals. And we can, it's basically you're creating an AI uh, instead of uh, going through entire uh, inquiries uh, from the AI. Uh, you could have your intentions built in uh, to uh, by utilizing the AI. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much. Will you come thank join you. me? Thank you. Right. We'll do.